Um, been in the book business for 53 years. I started after I graduated from college. I actually got a master's degree in ancient history for no good reason. And uh, started buying on a very small level and got bigger and bigger. <laughs> I like to discover things. So in the ancient world, there are still discoveries being made that, that um, or it's sort of exciting, you know, I found some wonderful things. So many things, <laughs> beautiful manuscripts and important pieces of history. I sold recently a, a note by Christopher Columbus's son, handwritten in, in the 16th century. And I have a book from 1410, a illuminated manuscript. Um, every page is just done by hand, it's glorious. It's interesting, my clientele 50 years ago used to be older men like 80%, maybe more. Now my clientele, according to Square, the people that keep track of things like that, my clientele is 71% women under 31. <laughs> it's remarkable. And those people are buying philosophy, poetry, uh, some new age stuff, really interesting. So there is still a very vibrant uh, interest in books amongst young people. And then even, even the classics, uh, we sell Latin texts and some Greek texts to students that can't get them any other place. In fact, some students have to hire tutors and then they come here to buy the texts. It's, so it's not, it's, it's, it is, things have changed dramatically and, and I suppose most people are gravitating toward the technology of the present. In the business sense, I've just, I've just tried to move along with that. I've, I've tried to use social media and things of that nature. We were noticed on Instagram and um, TikTok. <laughs> got a million visits on each one of them, which was crazy. <laughs> I remember back in the days when to, to do any kind of research, none of this was accessible. You, if you wanted a book, you had to go to the library and possibly get in the library alone, wait for the book to come, get it, maybe photocopy some pages, and then you have to send it back. It took months sometimes. Today, within seconds, you can have that information before you for free. Seconds versus months, it's incredible. It's all good. It's all fabulous, really. Fabulous. <laughs> I, I see a, a small percentage of the population, and I can only judge from people like you that come in the store. So there are many, many people that I never see. Yeah. <laughs> Very few people I see, actually, out of the total mass. But, there are, but it's encouraging for me to see someone in their 20s buying a book on Kant. That's pretty <laughs> heavy-duty stuff. I don't think that the world is dying, you know, intellectually. I just think that maybe the educational system needs to be a little bit more back to basics. Everybody's taking business courses now. No one's taking humanities. When I went to school, I went to school because I wanted to learn things I like to learn. But but today, you know, business school, business school, marketing, advertising. There's no real. No, how, who goes to school and studies Eastern Mediterranean in the in the 15th century? <laughs> It's just the basic knowledge of our past, and that's that's extremely important. If you don't know the past, you, you never know the future. You never know what's going to happen. It's uh, invaluable. It's, it's just not, not in vogue now. It should be, but if, if our leaders, if throughout the centuries, not just the present leaders, but, if, but throughout the centuries, it would be a much better world now, a lot less dead people <laughs> from wars and things of that nature. It's, it's amazing, though, how many people are appreciative. Yeah, they come in and they're, they go, wow, you know. <laughs> over and over again. It's hard, it's, it's a hard business, I mean, to, to build all this and, and, and stock the right kind of thing. Everything here is real, there's nothing, there's nothing artificial. Every, every book you see is that book, it's not some Reader's Digest or something. So, and people have driven from Ocala, pretty remarkable, and they're, I ask them if it's worth their while, and they say, yeah. I just, I just love books, that's all. <laughs> Maybe I like books too much, I'm not sure. I look around here. Let me show you some cool stuff. You want to see some? I've yeah. got a lot of different worlds combined here.